The rest of round one is here, and it kicks off Thursday night with the Knights versus the Raiders. So Knights are a decent favourite to win this one, and I'm backing them to win 1-12. to They're at home, and they've got a pretty good record over the Raiders in their last two matchups, with them winning both of them. I think the last one was quite close, but I still think they're going to get it done. Um, obviously finished last season in some red-hot form, and I think they're going to carry that over this season as well, being a fairly dominant team in the top eight. I feel across the park as well, they've got better players and a little bit more experience to get the job done. The back line as well is very, very dangerous. With Cogger as a utility, they've got plenty of options in the halves, and yeah, I think that attack's just going to be too much. In saying that though, I feel like the Raiders are going to put on a good performance and won't be as much of a write-off as people might think they will be this season. I think, yeah, they're could be pushing for the eight, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. For fantasy, really keeping an eye on Dylan Lucas to see how his minutes go, and probably suss out Hosking pretty much for the same reason as well. Now, every time I do go against the Raiders, they tend to go ahead and pump the team that I've tipped, so we'll see how that goes. Up first on Friday night, we've got the Warriors versus the Sharks in Auckland. I think the Wars are going to give the... T- the Sharks a good touch up 13 plus and wouldn't surprise me if Dallin Wateni Zelezniak gets over twice as well. Warriors won the last two run uh, last two run-ins in the previous season and I think they're going to be top four this year really pushing for that premiership spot. Nico Hines is back for the Sharks which is a massive boost but I think across the board the Warriors are just better probably minus like one or two players. Now the Wars have what good options on both sides of the field. Capewell, I think as well, can really open up the attack on the edges as well. Um, And I think in previous seasons, they're really going to be targeting Talakai and create opportunities on his side. If they let RTS roam around as well, I think he's going to cause all sorts of dramas for the Sharks. Second game on Friday is Storm versus Penrith down in Melbourne. Panthers 13 plus is going to be my pick. They've pumped the storm in the last few games, and I don't see that changing this time. Coming off their three-peat, I just think they're going to be too good and probably going to be the biggest premiership threat again this year. Sure, a few players are out at the moment, um, replaced with guys like Taylor May, so I don't think that's going to be too much of a concern. Not to mention as well, Cleary is just a fucking freak and could just go, boys, jump on my back, we're going the whole way. Perhaps uh, starting with Nick Meany in the centres as well. Their back line is pretty solid, um, but I think it's going to take a lot to get through Penrith. Teamless Tuesday as well dropped an absolute bombshell with Joe Chan being named in the starting second row position. Honestly, I don't even know who this bloke was until that's pretty much dropped, but for fantasy, he's a must-have, so go get him in your team. Mad Dog Munster as well has been named after some niggling injury. Um, I don't think he's going to be at 100%. We'll see if he actually keeps that starting spot or if he's going to be replaced, um, you know, close to the game. So might be a bit of a rough night for Storm supporters, but fuck, I like seeing them lose. Eels versus Bulldogs is up next. So Eels should smoke the Bulldogs, but wouldn't surprise me if they somehow shit the bed and get pumped, honestly. They have flogged the Bulldogs in the last two games I've played. They're playing at home as well, so I've got them 13+, plus. at least they should. Eels is another team that I don't mind seeing them lose. think Bulldogs will be improved this season. For fantasy, I'm keeping big eyes on Jamon Samon and Sammy Hughes. If you don't have either of them in your team, it's free money, free points. Go get them. Looks like another... Oh, and it looks as well like no 80-minute hooker has been decided on. Uh, Lusick's been named to start and hands in the 14. For your fantasy sides, I'd be avoiding both of them, honestly. Way too risky. Titans vs. Dragons. Titans are a fair favourite to get the W in the Gold Coast. I'm going to back them 1-12. to I think it's a bit more of a coin flip, though. A few outs with injury, but it means that young guns like Keeney are going to get a chance to show their stuff. Um, if you don't have him as well, I'd definitely pick him up for your fantasy. Very exciting player. Should get some decent points. I'm ready for Carm Pereira as well to burn people with that speed of his. See, he goes from 0-100 to that quick. It's ridiculous. I reckon Titans as well are going to be a good chance for the top eight this season. I'm seeing big things there. I reckon they're going to go well. And I reckon that Khan Pereira is going to be one of the leading try scorers this year as well. Dragons could surprise us all this season, but I don't think so. Lastly, we've got Dolphins versus Cowboys. I think the Dolphins are going to be an improved season as well. Some great signings, and I'm pretty sure it's Big Wayno's last year with them as well. Uh, Hammer is an absolute weapon. If he can link up with Herbie's runs, where he kind of busts through a few tackles and gets that offload away, I think he's, they're going to be an absolute handful. I think the Cows get it done, though, 13+, plus, um, so it might be a rough arvo for the Finns. Cows really should be top eight contenders, but I've got a feeling they're going to miss out again this year. But we'll see how that all plays out, see if they bounce back. 
My tip for this round is going to be some juicy wingers to cross the white line for some four points, along with a mammoth team to get a win. So I've got Greg Marju to get over any time against Sticky's Raiders, and to Dallin Wateni Zelezniak crossing against the Sharks. I'm honestly convinced he's just going to score every single game this year. Um, going to be pumping him. And then the modest Penrith take the line, so that's take 4.5. That gets you a nice little $5.81. I think that is... Easy money. Now, who have you got for round one? Let us know. Remember to like and subscribe. Follow Day.Sports on socials. And have a good one.